Hello grade fours. In our today's home science lesson, we are going to learn something on foods and nutrition as a strand and choosing foods as a substrand. Choosing food. We are going to know how do I know when I go to buy food? How do I know that this food is the best? How do I know that this is the food I'm supposed to buy? What is food? Food is anything that we take in to our bodies to help us grow, to help us get energy to play, to run, to talk, to help us keep our bodies healthy away from diseases. Now, where do we get the foods from? Food, we buy from different places. We can get foods from a supermarket. We can get foods from a grocery. We can get foods from a shop. We can also get foods from a hotel. Today, we are going to, to concentrate on a grocery where we get food the foods we get from a grocery there are two types of groceries there is a general grocery and also a green grocery green grocery is where we get foods like fruits and vegetables purely fruits and vegetables are brought, are bought from a grocery general grocery is what we are going to concentrate on today general grocery is where all types of foods are sold all types of foods if you want avocado if you want beans if you want rice whatever you get all types of foods you can get from a general grocery examples of food we get from a general grocery like i've said we have rice we can get milk we can get cooking oil we can get tea bags and all that those are examples of foods we can get from a general grocery so when you are sent to a general grocery or when you go to a general grocery to get food what are you supposed to consider because you see we buy foods from there are so many general groceries and we can go to buy food from there but how do you know that this is the best food that i've come to buy let's say you went to buy uh, bread how do you know that this bread i'm picking is the best now that is how you are we are going to know how to choose food let's say for example i've gone to buy bread what do i consider what is the weight of the bread i want we are going to consider the weight let's say i want a bread i want bread like this one let's see it is 400 grams your mother sends you to the shop or you go to the shop you have to check the weight of the bread when you go there what weight of the bread do i want or if it is milk what packet how many liters of milk do i want so you have to check the weight of the that particular food that you are going to buy and then number two you have to check the price how much the bread is 400 grams how much is it we know that 400 grams of bread is sold at 50 shillings so when you go to a general grocery and you find that particular bread of 400 grams being sold at 100 shillings definitely you will say that is not the right price so you have to check the price of the bread plus number two you may have 20 shillings and you have you want 400 grams of bread you cannot achieve get buying 400 grams of bread at 20 shillings so you have to consider the price of the item whenever you are going to buy the food then number three expiry date anytime we learned in grade three about food packaging and whatever is normally written on the food package like for example i have my unga here i have my flour here when i go to a general grocery i want to buy two kgs of maize flour i have to check on the package where it is written the expiry date i have to know the expiry date of this flour because if i buy without checking the expiry date it might have expired if let's for example to, we say today is 10th of january 2020 i have to know that whenever i'm buying any food the food should not be before 
should not have expired that is the food should be good or best before 10th of january 2020 for example in my flyer here it is written expiry date all the foods must have expiry dates so here it is written expiry date is 7th of june or 7th of june 2020 sorry 6th of september 2020 that is the expiry date of this maize flour so you have to check on the expiry date because if you use foods which have expired it might you might get food poisoning and then the last one material we have to check what kind of material is used to package that particular food let's take for an example a soda it is a liquid it is in liquid form it is food which is in liquid form whenever they are packaging whenever the manufacturer is packaging the food he has to ensure that the packaging material is okay because they travel when they are taking them for us the consumers to take them they have to travel long distance and they transport them from one place to another so they have to package it in something which is very safe for use number two even the oil cooking oil you see it is in liquid form let's not buy something which when you buy now you walk out and it is all poured out so whenever we are going to be buying food we have to know how to choose the foods properly when you are going to choose the foods ensure you follow all these you consider the four things which i've said here that you are supposed to check the weight the price the expiry and the material which is used to make or to package the food have a lovely day